playing for the Cowboys. We built a new stadium. I wanted my son to like see what it was like before a game. I'm walking with Marcus Jr. and one dude holler out. See, that's why we can't win no games because it's a daycare. I said, my name on the locker in there. Yours in there? And he was like, no. I said, my son name on that same locker too. He just put his head down and walked off. Swaggoo, what's up, boy? What's up, hey. my guy? Hey, it's, it's, it's been a week too long, hey, okay? Let's say that first you thing the, first. You in the thick of it right now, cuz. <laughs> you in the thick of it. Hey, I'm right in the middle of everything. I'm in the mud. I'm in the mud. I'm getting it out the mud. Look, and I know you sitting right there. You just watch. You watching the show. Because it's been some showstoppers. It's been some showstoppers. Look, I'm telling you right now, people was worried about Oh, how the playoffs are going to be. No Lakers, no LeBron, no Clippers. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They got enough. The NBA is in great hands, okay? But but look, look, Swaggoo, I miss you. It's a, lot, it's a lot going on. I see you looking skinty. <laughs> you looking skinty. Yeah, that face. You 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 know I know because you start it starts shrinking all in here because when you lose weight, it go like this here. <laughs> it go like this here. This be, this be the last to go. You know, that, I, yeah, you know I start you start shrinking from your, your feet from your head. And your knees from your head. Man, this gets skinny, legs get skinny. Yeah, you know. <laughs> that boy starts shrinking hey, like a teletub, hey, man. Hey, swag up. I know you've been watching these playoffs. Lord have mercy. Have I? Hey, look. We have one of the best first-round matchups probably that's going to go down in NBA history. I was part of one of them with the Bulls, Celtics, no KG Mm -hmm. going in all those overtime games. But this Celtic-Nets matchup, this Jason Tatum, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving. Oh, my God. Kyrie Earth. It's the one okay. we didn't know we needed, Perk. Oh, we need him. We need I'm him. telling you, the game of basketball needs him. And you you know what? Let me say this. Let me say this, because I want to get your thoughts on the Nets. I want to get your thoughts on Kyrie. Yeah. I want to get your thoughts on the game. I want you to tell me everything that I know you know about that we're going to probably say, I'm going to say, you know what? I agree with you. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When I look at Kyrie Irving, the first thing that comes to mind is me saying, I get what Stephen A was coming from. Because all the time, everybody in the world thought that Stephen A was just on Kyrie Irving just because he wasn't uh, not vaccinated. Well, the fact of the matter is he told us plenty of times that Kyrie Irving is a showstopper. I want to see him. I want to see him. Now, I'm going to leave it there because I know he want to see him. I want to see him, and I want to know what you want to see and what you think about Kyrie Irving. Perfect. Listen, I, I go back. I was on that first take, though, when Stephen A. first started talking about Kyrie and the vaccination situation, and we disagreed to that to, on, on some points of that. But mm-hmm. the one thing, he, to your point, never said was Kyrie's ability to play the <laughs> game of basketball. And also, I got to be honest, bro, and and this is not to throw any shade at Kyrie Irving. I feel cheated that I don't get to watch that a lot, Perk. Perk, it is it is it is the most beautiful offensive ability I think I've ever seen outside of Kobe. Like, and and, and Kobe was six six. All right, I think Kyrie six two six three. Yeah, maybe maybe six two. That's with two pair of socks on and some narcotics <laughs> in the shoe. I just listen, listen, man. I, I, first of all, we watched him against the Cavaliers. It was 12 for 12 before he missed a shot in the play. All right. And then we get here with, with Boston last night and a cool 39, I think he had. Yeah. Per watching Kyrie Irving play basketball. Okay. I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a put this in terms for all of these younger generation hoopers out here. Mm hmm. Watching Kyrie Irving play basketball, y'all can't do that. I'm waiting for the next one. Mm. It's going to be a long time before we see a 6'2 
guard, have the ability to score anywhere he wants to on the floor. Per on he go in there with body. the tree, huh? On anybody. He, he go in there with the trees, Perk, and he put a layup at the top of the backboard. And it's like a routine layup. He pull up, he pull up jumpers when when he giving up six to seven inches on, on somebody and create separation enough to get a shot over the top of him. Let's not get to ball handling. Like when 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 you you see all of these damn videos they do on Instagram and they be going to Brinkley and my dude Tyler Ralph out here in Dallas and they be, you know, they be going through their drills and throwing no shade. They it's it's all needed. You can't coach or teach what Kyrie Irving can do with a basketball. Mm -hmm. I gotta say this. I'm oh, watching too. the Nets, I'm watching the Nets Celtics, and 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 cousins and kin folks, forgive me. I'm watching the series and I'm thinking to myself, I can't believe somebody can play basketball this well. And my next thought is, damn, I do feel cheated. Because if Kyrie Irving played majority of NBA seasons, we would have to have him in the conversation as the best basketball player in the NBA. You're too loud. You're Bro, too loud. I... It is unreal to me how good Kyrie Irving is in basketball, bro. Like we talking about the NBA, dog. Like think about, think about, think about who's dominating the NBA right now. Seven foot, seven foot, seven foot. Yeah. KD six eleven. LeBron yeah. six eight. Yeah. Jason Tatum six eight. Yeah. There is nobody like him, and no. I just. Them being in the eighth seed and having to play Boston and potentially not getting out of these threes is going to only give us Kyrie Irving for a potential six or seven games in the playoffs. And that's I found myself in that moment, bro. That's where I am. L let me, let me, I'm gonna give you the mic. My lad, my points from what I just said. If Kyrie Irving played majority of the NBA season, he would have to be spoken about as the best player in the NBA. If Kyrie Irving played majority of the season, we as fans would not be able to have a conversation about a most valuable player without Kyrie Irving being in there. And let me remind everybody about basketball because you know they, you know, you know how they be telling me I don't know nothing about basketball. That's a cool thirty nine with Kevin Durant on the floor. Yeah, with 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 a guy that's guarding him is the potential the guy that probably might win the Defensive Player of the Year award and Marcus Smart. He, Here's the thing, Swaggoo. I ain't gonna even lie to you. I never even thought of it that way. But since you even brought it to my attention, bro, you are absolutely 100% right. If Kyrie Irving played the whole season, guess what? Dog, he would be in the MVP conversation. Let me tell you, I changed everything I had to say about Kyrie Irving when I saw him go down to Philly. Oh, yeah. And when I saw him pick, he picked him up full court. He picked him up full court, and and so when I see when I see when I see things like that, and I hear you say things, it bring me back into that space of thinking, like, hey, bro, we didn't miss out on this brother for so long, and he's in his prime. Give us more, but see, it's a, it's a lot, and I want I want to stick with it because Kyrie is just one big part of it. Yeah, this Celtic Nets series is another part. From the fan base, right? I'm like, I love the city. Bro, I love the city of Boston. But they can't be chanting negative things at the baseball game while the other game is going on. They hate that man that much. I wouldn't even, if I was Kyrie, I told you before we jumped on, I wouldn't even go, I wouldn't even show up in Boston until it was the night before the game. How can you order room service? How can you go get you something to eat? True. I wouldn't trust nobody. Not the animosity they have towards this man. I wouldn't even be tripping. But look, I'm looking at this series, bro. I believe it's going set. Yeah. I just have a problem. I have a real problem. I have a problem, I have a problem with Steve Nash. Oh. Katie and Kyrie, especially Katie, that's my dog. But we got to call him out. He went hired his partner, Steve Nash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He went hired, he went hired his partner, Steve Nash. 
Steve Nash ain't do nothing the other day in game one that me and you ain't do from our couches. Nothing. We didn't do nothing. Nothing. No timeouts, no adjustments. This is, we're watching basketball. Think about this. KD and Kyrie said, oh, yeah, we can handle this. We don't need a coach. And they ain't lying. They, not, they wasn't they, lying. They wouldn't. Because without them two performing the way that they was, and they ain't even win the game, but we know it's there for them to go get. They only lost by one. But Perk, if, they, they, if they had one. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. See, that's 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 what I be talking about, dog. Like, we get to this point and we talk about coaches, but we, we overlook what he didn't do in that game. Yeah. Leaving Andre Drummond in in the first half, knowing he got three fouls. Well, five minutes to go in the second quarter. Why is he in the game? He was eating the glass up. Soon as he left out, Al Horford started doing whatever he wanted to do. Whatever he wanted to do. By the way, Bruce Brown, you're gonna talk some noise, brother. You might want to show up to work. One second. Do you remember? <laughs> you remember last week I said he's gonna be the most important factor to the Nets winning, and everybody, everybody lost their mind. They went crazy. <laughs> what you mean? What you right here? If you're right, obviously beyond Katie and Kyrie, we know who the most important is. The Boston Celtics are going to force somebody else to make some plays. Mm. Somebody better figure it out. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, you're right because guess what? Al Horford figured it out. Sure Al, Al Horford had 20 and 15 last night. Al Horford had that. But look, I think that series is going seven. Mm-hmm. When I was watching this medium. Skin, no, skinty swag. Skinty, yeah, skinty swag. When I was, <laughs> when I was watching it, right, I'm looking at it, bro. No lie, I'm watching it, and I said, bro, this is the NBA Finals in round one. Yeah, buddy. It was. Yeah, I, buddy. I got goosebumps. I, I made sure that on Easter, I was sitting in front of that TV while hey. everything was getting put on pause. Easter egg hunts, food, whatever the case may be. Look. Little big, bro, little big uh-huh. bro, you know, me and you talk about this all the time when we're not on a pod. You know what my favorite time of the year is. March Madness and NBA playoffs. Yep, my favorite yep, time yep. of the year, dog. Yep. And people, and everybody know I love the NFL. I love pro football. It ain't nothing like when you get to this point, especially when you're talking about the stars being able to meet up time and time again. Like somebody got to answer the question next game. Thank you. And speaking of stars, bro, look, we got, I think we both in agreeing that if Kyrie Irving would have played this entire season, oh. he would one be in the MVP conversation. This is what Skinty Swag said, and I'm doubling down on it. Two, he will be in the conversation for us being the best player in the league. Sure and right now, that conversation includes Giannis. Jokic and MB yep. and KD and, and all those guys yep. are 6'11 plus and Kyrie Irving not. Okay, that's a whole other story. The most skilled player to ever play the game of basketball. I ain't seen but here's the, thing. here's the thing I got to ask you because we got a lot to get into and I need to know what you're thinking. The people okay. say they want it. We got to give them what they want. It's been a lot of young stars, dog. I know it's only been one game, but these young stars putting the world on notice. Since the play-in tournament, we cannot dismiss the play-in tournament. The play-in tournament is the playoffs before Important. the playoffs, yeah. period. I need to get your takes, okay? I've been watching Tyrese Maxey, yep. who had 38, 38. 38. Then we watching Ant Edwards, who had 36. I need to know about Ant Edwards, Anthony Edwards. What's your, how you feel about him? Like, he got the swag. Today they told him I picked the Memphis Grizzlies on TV uh, to pick the win five to one. He told me to carry on. How how you think of that on the moment? Do you have any message for Big Perk that we can pass along? Um, carry on. Carry on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what I mean. Remember we had a podcast at Cousins and Kid Folks. Y'all go back. Remember we, me and you, talked about him being one of our favorite players. Yeah. Let me tell you yeah. something about Anthony Edwards. All right. When it comes to basketball, I have no concern that he'll be a top five player, if not vying to be the best player at some point in, in his career in the NBA. The one thing I like about Anthony Edwards, he ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> he ain't gonna he ain't lie gonna, to you. He ain't, bro, gonna, he, he ain't gonna lie to you, bro. No, no. He go Anthony Edwards. You and I talked about this too. 
there are certain players that don't give a damn if it's a playoff game or a pickup game in the middle of the winter outside. He one of them. He one of them. He's and, one of them. And, and when you start talking about too big for the moment, the moment too big, he's not that guy. Because mm. the one thing I respect about the young cat, he understands that I don't have to score to impact the basketball game. Mm. Now, he's going to get his buckets because he's a freak athlete. He can shoot the ball. He's physical, too. Think about his body right now, Perk. Like, <laughs> think about the jump he going to make, like, when he started becoming grown man, grown man. Yeah. Right? So when I look, when I watch them against the Memphis Grizzlies, and I've heard all season long, Memphis, Jai been in his bag, Jai on Twitter, Instagram, talking that cash money. This young team got swagger. You know yeah. who don't? You know who ain't phased by that? Anthony Edwards. He from East Atlanta. Per, per, you better tell him all the time if you if if you're going to a dog park and it's full of <laughs> Rottweilers and pit bulls, you better not bring no poodle. Yeah. Oh, you better be a Rottweiler in the pit bull. Let me tell you, let me tell you when Anthony Edwards is, okay? You put it, you know, you know what happens if you put Anthony Edwards in a cage with five lines. You know what you go get? You know what you go have? You go have six lines. Six lines. You know, exactly. You go have, you go have six lines because that's what the year. See, I didn't want to last year when I was screaming, I said, look, Anthony Edwards is generational. Yep. Anthony Edwards should have won rookie of the year. And I'm a LaMelo Ball fan. We both are. We both are. But he's no Anthony Edwards. And I think, really, we got to stop even having those two in the same conversation, just being realistic, being realistic. And I that ain't no it. shade to LaMelo. Hell it's not. Two totally different animals. It's just, two different, it's just two different animals, bro. And when I'm watching this dude, Ant-Man, his swag is on another level. Hey, listen, Malika Andrews asked him, Who's the best defensive player in the league? He said, I am. I am. Uh, I feel like I'm a great defender. I actually feel like I'm the best uh, defender in the NBA. Uh, you ask me. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I love it. I, really? like that. I, love okay. it. I love it. So defensive player of the year for next year, that, that campaign starts right now? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, start that now. Yeah. And he was dead serious. <laughs> I am. This young man <laughs> sat in a press conference when me and you saw it and we was like this is this is that dude when he said in a press conference and challenged Carl Anthony Towns as a younger player he did all right and then you come out in your first playoff game and do that I ain't listen I know it's Milwaukee and thank God for Giannis Antetokounmpo for doing what he did with 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 the Milwaukee Bucks, I mean, I know it's Minnesota that ended right, right, right. But when Giannis did what he did, y'all better pay attention to this whole league. Yeah, and all of these players. I know we talk about big market, small. Y'all better. There is a player in Minnesota by the name of Anthony Edwards that is going to make all of y'all know who he is. Preach. That's where I'm at with it, bro. Look, Swaggle. And then look, you know, we got to dive into it's so much going on oh. around the league, right? You got the postseason, you got you got everything going on, these young stars balling. Like I said, Tyrese Max, shout out to him, by the way. Right. I didn't know he was gonna be the best player yeah. on the floor with him, James Harden, and Joel and B, but damn it, he was. Okay. Here, here's the thing. We also got end of the season awards. And and I get it. Now that you have social media. You're able to lobby for certain guys in yep. certain situations. You're a guy on your team for this award, that award. Now the, the the top three finalists have dropped, and now you see guys complaining. I hear Bam, he talking about, you know, basically the voters don't know what they watching, no national televised yeah. games. And all. Listen, dog, listen. I'm with you on this one. I already listen. know where you're going. Bro. How about just go play the game and, and, and just let it fall with me? Because I'm a voter. And if I see you trying to persuade me in any direction, that's going to make me go completely the opposite way. I don't want to hear it. I'm watching the games. I know what I'm watching. I know what I like. I know what I'm seeing. You can't tell me nothing about the game of basketball to the finest print, the finest detail. Tell me tell me something. Okay, Perk, are you watching them get up over screens? Or am I watching a guy like Marcus Smart being able to not one play damn near every position? Switch every position. Yeah, taking charges, 
playing guys on the low block, fighting over screens, not getting screened, causing guys offensive fouls because he's playing the ball so hard that when guys are trying to go dribble handoff action, they actually got to turn their body and bump them with their they lower body in order for him to, you know, for them not to get hurt or whatever hurt. the case may be. Look, I'm saying all that. Little big bro, um, <laughs> point number two that I don't know a damn thing about basketball, let me tell everybody out there, great defender speed offensive players up. That's what Marcus Smart is going at. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, 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 go ahead. You heard, you, heard what, you heard what Kevin Durant said. <laughs> He said, I had to slow myself down. No, you didn't know you did. They, they, they making you rush, bro. He wasn't ready for it. Here's, here's what I'll say about that. All right. Because I've seen it all across social media. Every team needs the market smart. No, it ain't a bunch of them out there. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. You don't, you don't think every team in the NBA won't market smart. They do. They do, especially when he will call out both of your star players to get them to play better so you can mm. end up in the playoffs. Listen, bro, mm. this mm. is why yes. when you get to the point of the NBA playoffs, all right, and we hear it all year long, wait till the playoffs. The playoffs, you ain't no – players are not defined in the regular season. You know that. When you get to this point right here, okay, and you are – we know where KD is, and I'm with you. KD got dogged the first game against the Celtics. Yeah. He got dogged. Yeah. It's, 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 it's on tape. It's, it's on, on tape. tape. It's All on right. Tape. But 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 here's 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 what I say about like teams like the Celtics. Ain't nothing gonna catch them off guard, bro. Mm -hmm. Like nothing is going this team with Jalen, with Jason. And with Marcus Smart and Robert Williams maybe coming back, say, bro, you are going to have to earn every bucket. Hey, I tell you this, everybody go back. While we talked about Kyrie like we talked about him in the first set, everybody go back and look at the difficulty of them shots. Go back and look how hard of a – of, of, of how hard it was to get them baskets. That's why we talk about Kyrie like we talk about him. But when you go to Boston, bro, I don't know. Listen, I'm with you. I think the series goes six or seven because I know KD ain't going to come back and have another nine for 24 shooting performance. Oh, he's not going to say this. He might need to be 16 for 30. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> them young boys, between Jason, Jason and Jalen can match that offensive prowess. Yes. They can match it. Yes. Now you got to determine. See, and that's why I was on Bruce Brown. And because we knew how Marcus Smart was going to perform. Bruce Brown, are you going to be the answer for the Nets? Yeah. You you got, cause, cause, cause PJ Tucker ain't coming through that though. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I remember last year with the Milwaukee Bucks, PJ Tucker giving up 30 and 40 and whatever to Kevin Durant. You remember that? Yeah. Kevin Durant was exhausted. After the game, he was he was exhausted. All right, so that's where I listen. All of the talk about the NBA playoffs and all of us were talking about the Lakers and the Nets. That's who we want to see. No, we don't. We want to see the Nets and the Celtics straight up, straight up. And we want to see all of we want to see all those other young superstars who balling yes, right now. Who yes, got sir. us glued to the television? Yes, yes, I, I love where you went with Anthony Edwards, man, because he going Minnesota will be talked about right. like they talk about Giannis in, in Milwaukee. Can, can, can I confess something? Talk I can say me. it. I can say it on. I'm a little get worried. Between, get between me and you. I'm a little worried. Oh, yeah. Word, dog. I'm, worried. Is it fine? I'm worried. I'm worried. <laughs> hey, listen, let me tell you. I I still have full faith in job in the Memphis Grizzlies, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm here to tell you, bro. The Minnesota Timberwolves ain't going nowhere. Well, sir. And, and here's the thing that I, I need for Ja and the Grizzlies to realize, okay? Because we have to realize this: Ja has came into the league as quote unquote probably an underdog. If you look at his story, yeah, like, where he went to college and all that, going to Murray State. Getting drafted number two, you can't yeah. really be an underdog, but you kind of have to still have that underdog mentality, right? 
So he has exceeded expectations at an early age. 100%. Okay? When you start having people say he should have went number one over Zion and Zion had the, the, the pub that he had coming out of college and high school, that's saying a lot and that's doing a lot. Now, with that being said, here's what I'm scared of. And I don't think John and the Grizzlies understand the magnitude of this situation right now. You you were the number two seed. You are the number two. You seed. are the number two you finish, seed. You finished with the second best record in the NBA. You better not let these people send you home in the first round. You better you better not. Or you know what concerned me? What? You know what concerned me about watching that game? What? It didn't look like it wasn't no fluke. And Carl Anthony Towns didn't play well. No, he played well. No, yeah. I'm talking, I'm, I'm I'm talking about his foul trouble. No, no, no. That was the play in. That my bad, my bad. I'm already I'm no, already, yeah, no, no, I'm no, already, no, no. You gotta you my, gotta remember he yeah, he bodied Jared Jackson Jr. Yeah, middle of the oh. lane. My bad. I, I'm thinking about the play in, but even in that play in, they had answers without him. Yeah, so my point was, is that this team young, but they understand. They understand, they understand how to play in, in different situations. That's why I was trying to go. I got my games. No, no, you good. This, this team, especially, bro, listen, last year when you and no, I were going back and forth about the Milwaukee Bucks, you remember? Yeah. Why Giannis, why won't Giannis go at KD? Yeah. Why won't he take him in the last final moments? Because that and, and and coming along, I I can admit when I learn something in basketball, cause we don't need you to, right? Because right. because we we are not at ice if we exhaust you on the defensive end of the floor. Mm -hmm. So when I look at Minnesota, when I watch that first game against the Grizz, and you know I determine this per even in football, my daughter volleyball, especially in the NBA and college. However you want to play, we can play. That's how they are. That's how they are, bro. They put up 130 points in the playoff game on the road. Listen, they have a lot of guys that don't have household names, like Jared uh, Vanderbilt, yeah. who is a elite three-way, three and D guy. Here's the thing. I still think Memphis is going to win. Mm -hmm. But I will say this. You can't street talk them dudes out of this. Not them. This is what I'm telling Jock. You can't street talk them dudes out of this. Let me tell you why, bro. Anthony Edwards from East uh from East Atlanta. Patrick Beverly from, I don't know if he's from the west side, south side. He's from one of those spots in the shot town. You can't, you can't out street talk them people. They ain't here. And I want you, I want everybody to pay attention to this too, little big bro. Call Anthony Towns done changed. You he see? Done, he didn't change. Like, I'm 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 going at your neck. I remember conversations when Jimmy Butler was there. <laughs> you remember that? All right. Yes. So I'm, I'm, yes. I remember conversations about is Carl Anthony Towns a dog? Is he? We know he's talented. We know he got skill, but does he have the right mentality? And they, it's it's full circle. When Anthony Edwards come in and say, "Hey, man, you got to play like you're the best big man in the NBA." Mm -hmm. Like to your point. I literally don't know who's going to win the series. But what I will say, if you're going to beat the Minnesota Timberwolves, Memphis Grizzlies, you are going to have to beat them. They're yes. not giving you nothing. Yes. They not, said, and they ain't running. You want the smoke? Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got, 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 got it. Look, Swaggoo, this is what I got to ask you, though. We think about Golden State Warriors, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond. They line up there like good. A lot of they do, they do look good. Mm -hmm. We think we think about the Suns. We know what they're doing. Milwaukee, Giannis, Harden, Joel, and B. Yep. Team that's not getting a lot of love right now is the Miami Heat. And, and here's the question: Everyone is asked: Is Jimmy but does Jimmy Butler have the superstar power to take them to getting another championship? I need to know. Does he have the power to do it? He has the team. You have the coaches. You got the money. You living on South Beach. Does he have the, the the skill? Does he have the talent to carry this team and ultimately get them to the top? Because look, you can't depend on Duncan Robinson every night. No, 
Not he like lit that. it up from the tray ball, but you can't depend on that when you got to go head to head with a Giannis. Yeah, he a hell of a shooter, but that that get kind of canceled out in certain situations. Oh, okay, cool. I need to know. Um, Perk, this is the hardest question you didn't ask me. Yeah, well, let me okay. let me let me answer it. it. It's two. It's two part. Um, ability and skill wise, yes, Jimmy Bullock got enough defensively. What he did to Trey was impressive. All right, it was. It was. I don't know how many dudes play for Jimmy Butler, bro. Like, I used – because I think Jimmy Butler a dog. I know a lot of people think Jimmy Butler a dog. I think he a dog. But I don't know – and I know they went to the final. I know. I know all of that. I don't know if it's going to trend. Like, you got to have levels to how you attack the mental part with your teammates and your coaches. All right? few weeks ago when him and Spo went after it and mm-hmm. I saw UD have to get up, Udonis Haslam, yeah. have to get up and, and go at Jimmy. And I'm like, that's a bad look because we all know what UD mean to the Miami. Oh, 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 for sure. But you also think about like Jimmy Butler last year, put him on their back and was exhausted. He yeah. put the team on his back and was exhausted. But yeah. because, so that's why I say I know he got the talent. I know he got the skill set. He got the right mentality for himself as an individual part. I don't know if it translates to everybody else. And that's what gives me concern. See, when I see, when I see Giannis say, when I see Giannis in a game six or a game seven say, Chris Middleton, you got it. When I see that, when I see, when I see him defer in those opportune times where he could just say, I'm about to go. And he say, nope, I'm going to pull this thing back out and I'm going to facilitate. Right. right. When I see Jalen Brown last night, go last seconds running off the clock, see a wide open Marcus Smart, and then it turned into a layup for Jason Tatum. I say to myself, that's uplifting. Maybe not intentionally, but that's uplifting. Your, I trust you, bro. I trust you in every one of these moments. I don't know if Jimmy Butler is. I don't know that. I don't know it. I haven't talked to anybody from Miami. I just, as the star of that team, the max player of that team, I don't know if those guys will get over that mental hurdle with how he approaches them. That's that's how I feel about it. You just don't know. You don't know if Jimmy Butler is trustworthy, and yeah, that's okay. You He's don't. A lot of places, but, but you know, you know why? Because he have not gave us a reminder. Like, here's the thing. Throughout the, court, court, throughout the course of the season, just think about us. We went from Steph Curry being the best player in the league. Yep. We went to Joel and B taking over the throne a, a month later. Yep. We went to, Rosen was in the MVP no, no, just think about it. Everybody was setting off alarms and we and, and hitting us with these 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 reminders that hold on, we got to pay attention to him. Yep. Hold on, we got to watch yep. out for him. Jimmy Butler hasn't done that. Never and look. Going out there and getting 20, 20 to 22 points, that's normal. That ain't going to cut it no more. No, sir. You got to remind us with something spectacular. You got to set the world on fire where Twitter is trending because of Jimmy Butler. Especially, and not with, that, of- especially with that team, because you don't have another MVP on that team. That's what I'm saying. So like, especially with that team. But I will say this. They my dark horse of coming out of the East. Oh, I mean, winning a championship. They can do it in. They can they defend, defend, bro. We all know that defense win championship. They my dark horse. They not my favorite. Because uh-huh. one thing I've learned, until Giannis goes down, I would never go against him. Yeah. I learned that the hard way. He, look, I'm telling you, bro, and I'm okay with it. Yeah. Because he had to show me because yeah. of his past. What I saw in his past, I didn't believe him. I'm with you, but I ain't, I ain't going to never deny that 50 piece. He didn't show me who he is. Yeah, buddy. Consistently. <laughs> He didn't show me he, who he yeah. is, but but Swag, listen, man, I'm trying to tell you, bro, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on in this basketball world. And people, look, I need you to be more involved, dog. Okay, all right, that's not what you need. I don't like. I don't need you putting your phone down during the game. You're right. I'm I locked in. I'm gonna tweet now. I'm gonna tweet during the game. I'm yes, tweet. Bro, I need you more involved during okay. the playoffs. Okay, like, we're going back and forth. 
I don't need to be sitting up here saying, what the hell is Swag Guru at? I know you watch it. Locked and, then, in. and then you popping one out every hour and a half. No, I need one every 10 minutes. I got I, you. I need to hear what you, I need, I, need to, I need to know what you're thinking at the moment, bro, bro. Bro, I was so mesmerized with what I was watching Kyrie do, bro. I couldn't, like, I didn't want to miss nothing. Yeah. That's why I didn't, bro, the game was so good, right? It was so many dudes playing at a high level. But me, literally, you know, I like to tweet live action. You know right, that. Right, right, I know that. Bro, I was in a trans watching Kyrie play. He he, he did. Perfect. Have you in days? Let me tell you something. My son sometimes. <laughs> my son sometimes gets up early in the morning and go shoot. Got him a basketball. Get up early like five. So I went out there and joked with him. I was like, hey, bro, if you can't do this stuff Kyrie doing, you might well stick to baseball and football. He said, well, I better start setting up this batting net. <laughs> Straight up. Oh, hey, he, was, he was so locked in and mesmerized by what he get. Bro, uh, the ability. He's a showstopper. But look, I saw something. I did see you on Twitter today, though. And you said that we had to bring up something and we got to make sure we get the people what they want Man. before we know. Listen, what's going on with this 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 football league? Bro? Okay, okay, I mean, let me, yeah. So, so, so you get cut for eating a slice of pizza? Like a coach, a coach is trying to make his presence known that much and trying to have that much control over the locker room. You actually getting cut? For having a slice of pizza, bro. I promise. When I when I saw it, I was hoping it was a joke. Literally, I was like, I hope this is a joke. And then I saw like a number of people, and I'm like, this serious? Like this for real? He cut the man. Per hit everybody that didn't see it. And listen, I ain't going to detail because I, I don't know if it's backstory, but I'm gonna tell you what I saw on Twitter. I saw a coach cut a player because the player didn't want chicken salad. And he, he preferred pizza. And the dude told him he couldn't have no pizza. And he said, the dude asked him, is that going to be a problem? And the player said yes. And that's why he got cut. That's what the video says. Now, it's hard for me to leave a grown man who that coach was. I don't even know his name. I, ain't, I wouldn't say his name if I knew his name. Right. Would cut a dude because he claimed it was disrespectful to the person. Listen, per here, here's here. Really, this is what this is about. All right, really, this is what this is about. Cause it's personal for me, mm -hmm. I hate people that flex power just cause they can. Come on, man. I can't stand, bro. It. Listen, oh. if anything pisses me off more than anything. Nah, say that. Say that again, bro. bro. I I can't stand people, bro, that flex power cause they can, bro. It it's the to me. If you're in a position of power, you're an executive, you're a CEO, and that is how you operate, you are the worst. Mm. You are the worst. To me, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn if y'all don't want me to do nothing for y'all company. You the worst type of person. Yeah. When you allow, when you walk in and you say, "My, I can control this person's future outcome just because I can. Come on. I understand being a boss and somebody giving you a reason, they keep messing up. I understand right, right. all of that. You gotta get look. You gotta get written up. You got something. Yeah. But, but what I watched in this video, bro, was very disturbing because ultimately, if 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 I'm a player and this is my coach and I'm still on this team, I'm not the guy that got cut. What what I'm supposed to think about you? Right. Right. Like right. I, you don't have my best interest at heart not based at on all. what you did. Not at all. So, so listen, it's the new league, the USFL, Dwayne Johnson, the rock is heavily like one of the owners, his, his, I think his ex-wife, I don't have a name, but they both are excited about this league. I saw him on get up last week talking about this league and it seemed they, they want to work in partnership with the NFL, which is the first step to seeing if it's a successful league. Cause look, bro, we in America. If you're going to step outside and try to start a football league and say, we don't want nothing to do with the NFL, you can go ahead and write a blank check to somebody and let them cash it because you're going to lose your money. Right. So the first step is that they want to be in partnership. But ultimately, bro, watching that on Twitter and how that interaction went with that, that player, I'm saying to myself, how is this good PR? 
It's not. It's bad. And you know what? I knew I was about to get something out of him when I saw the kind of jeans he had on. <laughs> I, knew <it. laughs> I knew it. I knew it because I'm used to I knew the type of energy I was gonna have when I saw the type of jeans he had on. As a coach, first of all, first of all, he got them old swaggo jeans on. Bro, nobody name me a coach that wear jeans to practice. Coaches ain't wearing no jeans to no damn practice, man. This you cut this man before practice or whatever y'all had going on. Like, what do you got going on? Where's your mental? And when I heard them start talking, I said, okay, okay. Yep. He exactly what you was talking about. Didn't even give that man an opportunity to say his piece. And then the man said, no disrespect. All I did was answer your question. He didn't lie to you. Bro, I listen, bro. It it was one of the, you know, you know how I say all the time, social media ain't real life. That was real life. That was that real was a dude. dude. That was a dude trying to look. I don't know this dude. I don't know if he's a good person, bad person. I'm talking about football and how things should be handled. If you don't think the dude good enough and you was looking for a reason to cut him, that's still bad. But ultimately, you can this man, you you finna cut this man from a job and you won't talk to him over that. Of a slice of pizza, bro. worst kind of people, bro. Worst yeah. kind of people to me, bro. I, I, I'm, worst I'm kind cool. of people to me. And that's the that's the energy I don't want to be around. What I'm hoping is because I feel bad for the player. I'm hoping that he actually get picked up by somebody else. Somebody else pick him up, and he runs and, for two feet. And what I what I pray and I hope that don't happen is that all the other coaches and executives that are running that are over those other teams or whatever. Don't pick up and, and pick up that knowledge because you know how people start gossiping. Oh, yeah, it was more than just the piece. Yeah, no, 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 it wasn't. 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 Now, look, look, Parker hitting us up. You know how we Parker do. talking about? Parker say it's time for the family reunion, okay? It's time for the family reunion, and I got to let you know what's going on. Where we at? I think we got some, the family reunion is the questions, you know what I'm saying? Swag yeah, yeah. You know, people want to know. You know I'll what I'm saying? folks then wrote in. All right. And and Parker, we'll, what up? Look at Parker and popped up on. Oh, you want to show your face now? Of course. You know, the family The family got questions. The cousin right. got questions for you. Go ahead. So, uh, the first question I got is from Dream Villain, who says, we need a specific moment. A fan said something that made you want to react. Go ahead, Perk. You put well, it in Boston, well, and I know well, somebody said something to you. It didn't make me want to react. I did react. I did react. And I reacted every single time I heard something. I mean, because you hear the, you hear the chance. And then I'm going to tell you one time I reacted. I remember I was in Utah, right? And so... It, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking. This is how it looked. Yeah, yeah. It looked like a guy that was sitting front row, that was sitting with his significant other. I don't know if it was the wife or whatever. That invited two friends to come. Okay, there, there. His looked like his friend along with their significant other, and it looked like the dude was just trying to show off. You know, how you get those ones that's trying to show off. Yeah. So. The whole game, he just keep going on. Like, he just keep messing with me. I'm like, bro, I understand it. And so I'm like, look, it was a dead ball. It's halftime. I'm getting ready to walk off. And he just keeps going. Oh, you suck. You're big for nothing with the wolf. So I'm like, hey, bro, look, you showing off for your girl. But truth be told, she was in my inboxes last night. It blew up. He sat down. Right, because I, you know, I'm coming and I'm hitting below the belt. Below the bro. belt, yeah, dog. Like, don't be sitting over here. You know what I'm saying? Relax, dog. Like, enjoy the game. You, you've been screaming for a quarter and a half. Now it's halftime. You still going? Uh -huh. And I ain't said a word to you. Uh huh. Uh huh. So you know, yeah. yeah. Let me, let me, let me tell you what I got. I got what I got. What dream, yeah. Ellen? So playing for the Cowboys, we built a new stadium, and you know. I wanted my son to like see what it was like before a game, mm -hmm. right? Like, wanted to bring him in the locker room, let him see, you know, how we get ready early before dude like it got packed, so dudes wouldn't, you know, be worried about. So we walking in, bro, and like you drive under the tunnel in Cowboy State Stadium, and that's that's where all the rich fans be, you know, they go into their boxes and. <laughs> so I'm walking with I'm walking with Marcus Junior, 
and we headed in the locker room, and and one dude holler out, "See, that's why we can't win no games because it's a day cow." I turned around, Perk. I said, "I said my name on the locker in there. Yours in there?" And he was like, "No." I said, "My son name on that same locker too." He just put his head down and walked off. Yeah, straight no. up. Because because here's the thing for me, dog. Like Dream Villain, that's a great question. We understand fans. We understand them, but we ain't never been them. Yeah, yeah. We always been hooping. Yeah. We always been playing football. We don't right. really understand like the type of emotion and energy. And I try to tell people that all the time. I understand it a little bit now because fans go crazy on us when we say something. And it's like, dog, why are you so mad? Yeah, why, like, why? you ain't no. never got a check from the from the Atlanta uh Falcons but you football ready, facility, but you, you ready, ready to this? fight me? Hey, whoa, saying something, swag dude. And and with your point, let me tell you something. It's not gonna be the this is the first of many. So your situation and what's going on with the fans right now, because Woj made a good point. Woj said, Y'all gotta remember. Is gambling involved now? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's it's it's, it's, it's really they it's money. It's player props. It's money lines on games. It's yep. first halves. It's all this going on. So what happens when somebody who's a gambler really doing it as their job and they sitting in them stands and you didn't done something that messed up their money? Hey, hey, listen. Hey, this is what I tell them. You know me. My first thing, cool. Your thing is carry on. That's your money. It ain't mine. Real talk. Fuck like, we get. Yeah. You jumping there and gamble. You 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 know the risk. <laughs> uh well, we're gonna transition from gambling into Easter. Uh Ryan wants to know what was on the table for y'all for Easter dinner. Everybody wanna know what's on the table. I'm Everybody gonna, always wanna know what we eat. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I eat. We do be eating good. Uh, I eat I eat 15 pounds of crawfish. Oh, that sounds so good. Bro, the, That's the, a half the bag. Yeah, the, no, the 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 garlic butter, the garlic butter. My dog ate <laughs> half a bag. Ain't half all y'all that don't know, most of the time crawfish come in thirty pound bags. <laughs> right. Her gave right. half the bag. Look, hey, you want you <laughs> you want to know some you want to know some funny shit that happened? What happened, bro? So my father-in-law was in, so my 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 ten-year-old he Kingston he just uh -huh. he. he trying to really learn how to peel them himself. He kind of got the flow, but he don't really have patience. So he asked my father-in-law, he was like, Papa, how you supposed to eat these crawfish? And my, my father-in-law, without even thinking, he just like, you gotta suck the head and eat <laughs> Old school, I already know where he from. He ain't he from the South. <laughs> it wasn't lying though, it wasn't lying. That's how they tell us when we little. That's how you eat crawfish. That's how they tell us when we little. People see, yeah, like this is realistic stuff that goes on when hey. you eating crawfish. Like this is they call them mud bugs. Well, yeah, right? Yeah, mud bugs. Mud yeah. bugs, yeah. You gotta purge them, you gotta clean them out for you. All right. So you oh, that sounds good, man. See, me the problem, like me living up north, I can't I can't get where I need to get to with that. I know. No. Oh, oh, by the way, by the way, and, and this ain't no, this ain't like no, um, this ain't no plug or nothing, but when I come to H-Town, we need, we, we got to go to Turkey Leg Hut, bro. I, I, I miss it so much. <laughs> you what? I miss it, bro. <laughs> Straight up. If, if y'all yeah. ever, cousins and kid folks, if y'all ever in Houston, I know this sound like an ad, like a month, it ain't. I don't even know. I don't even know the turkey leg hunt owners personally. I just know them from Instagram. It is the it is some of the best food you're gonna ever eat in your life. I just wanted to say that because they asked us about food. Now, what I did, what you done for 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 Easter was I did two ribeyes and two whole chicken spatchcock. All right. Oh, you, oh, you was doing it up. Oh yeah, you know you ain't seen me on Instagram. I had them two chickens laid out perk. I had them like they was in a coffin. I I I ain't been on Instagram. I know you've been. You know I've been on. You in playoff mode? Yeah. yeah. That Twitter be fired yeah. up. That Twitter be fired. You be fired to go on shit. That's my but that was it, man. We ain't do nothing. We ain't, we ain't do yeah. nothing big. My wife and my wife and my daughter was at a volleyball tournament. I had to hold the kids down by myself. My two youngest. 
but I did get on that trailer and go ham. So two whole chickens and, and two ribeyes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And, and so right up. He's good. He good. Parker. He ain't good. Watch out, Parker. Parker. Look. Look up, Parker. <laughs> <laughs> he, pop up. he pop up like he don't know he about to pop up. Hey, pop up. I don't about to pop up. But the last question we have for you is from Matt, who says, y'all practicing yet for the two-on-two? We need to see y'all put the work on Keyshawn and Jay Will. We ain't got to practice for that. Didn't we have the sound or something from them talking noise? What about Perk and Marcus Spears? That would be that. Ooh, that's a tough matchup. That's just why they that's just get yeah, out they, and run tempo on them. That's a lot yeah, of bodies. To, yeah, we we might move Sprint around. We might, Jay. We, <laughs> we got to get ball first in that matchup. See, but see, yeah, in other words, we got, we got to blow fast. got to keep them moving on In that. other words, yeah. You, Where's Key Jack McKinney McKinney when just, you need him? Key and Jay aren't just talking. They, like when you give when 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 you're presented with a challenge, you all admit it. Like, okay, that's going to yeah. be difficult. Those two. Well, the, the, yeah, the Kendrick they Perkins wide, and Swagoo, we got to run trucks. Yeah, man, we got to run those Princeton so sets, Key. And also, we got to run the Princeton sets. We got to keep real you know, recognized. You know what right? Perk will do to me? Perk game recognized ass, game. Yeah, Perk will you. Mm. Perk will put his big ass right at the key, right on the block. Right and on I'll the be key. Underneath, I'll be underneath the net. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I can't do nothing with that. Man, that dude, what is but they he, don't Jay? have any six, guard nine, play, and you have Jay Will. What is Perk? 6'9", 350? Man, yeah, you, you got to do your work early, Key. Hey, Matt, Spears, big dude. you got to know what you – man, Marcus, come on, man. You got to do your work early. I love Marcus. Swaggoo is my dude, but that ain't no challenge for me at all. Mar- Mar- at did all. he play Division One? Yeah, but yeah, he, no, he played high school. Uh-huh. But it ain't it, – his skill set is nice for a big man. But he's a big but man. It's a different, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, different yeah. level. Perk, I can't, I ain't even going to come on. Bro, what are they talking about practicing for a two-on-two? First of all, look, they both too small. Okay, that's the first thing. Like, I'm not, look, I'm I'm past that stage where I'm done playing games or trying to show somebody what I can do. Nope. Or show somebody that got doubts that I can handle the ball. I'm keeping it simple, and I'm getting the game over with. And yeah, then, like, layups. Whoever Jay will go ahead and you're going to the block. And ain't nothing gonna happen. Ain't nothing gonna happen. The layups. Yeah. The layups. <laughs> so so keep my big old G Keyshawn talking about I ain't worried about I ain't worried about spills. It ain't no they I said, I said one on one to 15, you get the ball first, wherever you want to play. Per you know how it come, you know how per they always think. That I'm just gonna turn my back to the basket and post people up. That's what I want them to think. I want them to think. They they don't know. And look, here's here's the thing that people don't realize. The thing is, is when we do two on twos, this ain't NBA. This is real street, real street basketball. Like, like I'm talking about hard fouling elbows. Where it's kind of like, yeah. Where it's kind of like, man, who is this? Like, like, are we cool? Yeah, not we should, right now after the game. Yeah, not right now. I want to see that side of us, man. That ain't a cool side. Don't pull, don't pull that out of me, Keyshawn Johnson. Real don't tough. pull that out of me, Jay Will. Jay Will done already lost a hundred dollars to me because he didn't think I could do twenty five push ups. What? Yeah, bro. Like I went out first years on get up. He ain't <laughs> telling me to do twenty five push ups. I'm like, dog. We ain't have no weight room in high school. Only way I got strong was doing push-ups. Push-ups and dip-ups, bro. And dip-ups. Like, what are we talking about? Anyway, I I like the underestimation. I like it. Here's what I would here's what I'll say. All right. We could we we ain't playing two on two because we'll win. That like it's just that simple. What we can do though is we could actually step out and shoot. I'll I'll bust somebody head. I already know. I so already know. Anyway, anyway. Man, I'm getting slim perk. Hey, bro, I'm not, we're not playing for free either. No, it's gonna I'm going to let you, it's I'm gonna gonna you know. If I'm getting out there and I'm risking a chance to tear my Achilles or ACL, it better be some lettuce on the line, bro. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. <laughs> no, nah, that's how we coming. Hey, look, swag. Check this out. Skinty swag. Look, it's been great. Y'all got y'all gotta keep tweeting us and asking. I don't care what it is. Ask us, man. We don't take nothing personal. Nothing. You know, we ain't never in our feelings. We actually we really want run to the smoke. That's why I'm on Twitter. Unfiltered, unkilled, unfiltered, uncut. Don't like matter. You, 
We don't care. No matter. But we appreciate y'all, though. Hell yeah, yeah. Y'all tap in, man. Keep tapping in. This Swaggoo and Perk, we are of the people. The only way, let me let me make this announcement, Perk, because see, this is what they don't realize. When me and Perk first started this podcast, we were like, we don't want no guests. All right? Now, that, that don't mean we don't want no guests. That just means you're going to have to have something with you if you're going to come on Swaggoo and Perk. Because honestly, to all of our cousins and kin folks, this is ours. Yeah. Not just me and Perk. This is yours too. Cousins and kin folks, when me and Perk get on, this is like me and Perk being on the telephone. Yeah. And y'all coming in on the conversation. Send your questions. Send Ooh. your statement. Ooh. Y'all part of the family. <laughs> Perk, as always, my brother, I love you. I'm so proud of you, bro, and the job you're doing. I'm watching you throughout this playoff coverage. I saw you on Good Morning America. Now, now, hold on one second. Let me pick a bone with you. Hey, next time your ass going on Good Morning America, you better text me and be like, Swag, turn hey, on the TV. Hey, 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 that's my fault, dog. But look, I gotta it, see it, was, you. it was like this. I felt like you. And I'm telling you, every single time we get to these moments, I think of you, and I think of the That's my dog. celebrity. We're celebrities. So you, I'm, I'm, you a celebrity now. Oh, I'm coming home from L.A., right? It's 9.30 at night. I'm watching the game on the airplane. Thank God United finally had a, a, a TV fight. Right? So I turn my Wi-Fi on. I get a text. Hey, Perk, would you want to do Good Morning America in the morning at 6.30? I said, who, me? Yeah. <laughs> You meant to text me? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I say, hey, bro, hey man, I, I, I'm on. I'm on. We it all. was so it was so good to see you, bro. And I know, like people tell us all the time, bro. I love how y'all give each other love, man. This real, bro. I was so it's proud. Man, I've been proud of you, but watching you on Good Morning America and you told the people they folded like clean shit. I, I say he a celebrity night. I, I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. Right I wouldn't miss it. I had bringing, that, bringing that big boy Southern smoke to the mainstream. Right? How are we going to do? Straight up. You see? Straight up. I love I, you, Brody. Love you too, dog. We out. We out. Peace, cousins and kids. That's why we're perfect. Man, look, Ja haven't saw that side of the media yet. He gonna have to li live with that through the summer and next the whole eighty-two games the next season. Ain't nobody gonna try to hear that. They gonna say you done this and you tricked us. You still recording for? Uh, no, but I, no. I'm I am. Perk. Or there you go, right there. Yeah, put that thing. You know, I'm messing with y'all, but he can't. He can't jump out there like that, bro. That's true. School. Man, you gonna hear about that from the summertime. For the rest of the summer, throughout the playoffs, everywhere you go, people gonna remind you of it, and then you gonna hear it again for the whole 82 games no the doubt. next. You are absolutely right. <laughs>